Isabel, are you, are you sure? Someone new has moved into town today? <gasps> you guys, I think that Keaton has actually moved in. Keaton, the really cool eagle who we actually met at our camping site just the other day. Already only three days back to my beautiful, beautiful Mossley village. And we have a new villager moving in. That is so exciting. I think Big Top moved away, but I'm sure he had some important things that he needed to do elsewhere. So Isabel. Oh, of course I want to give them an official mayor from, like, an official mayor welcome. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. And I haven't even showed you guys the biggest achievement we have managed yet. <gasps> is that Phineas? It's Phineas! Holy cow! Okay, guys. Well, welcome back to Moss Leaf Village, where I, Mayor Siri, with the bedhead hair that is, uh, you know, just showing off some of my scientist techniques, has uh, been working very hard. I have been working diligently at tidying up our village, at planting new golden peaches, at collecting those peaches and making delicious peach jam out of them that I then sold at retail. Uh, not that they were, you know, in actual jam jars, but I like to imagine that I take all the peaches and turn them into peach jam. But in any case, I've actually been working behind the scenes quite a bit at tidying up our town, and I've managed to meet all of the villagers except for my beloved Blanche, who I hope I will be able to greet today. And I have also filled up my pockets, not with just peaches, my friends, but with cold hard cash! Look at this! We have like 99,000 bells twice over and then 72,000 bells. I think we actually have enough bells to pay off Tom Nook, which is so freaking exciting. And all of that comes, my friends, from our wonderful peach trees! Oh, hey Caesar! Good morning! Hey Siri, can I get a minute? The truth is, I've been thinking it's about time for me to leave this place behind. It's not that I've started to hate moss tree or anything, though. <gasps> Caesar, but you're one of my most diligent gardeners. Oh, I don't know if I would want to lose you. It's actually pretty nice here. That's why I'm thinking I gotta bust out of this lukewarm place and harden myself up. Grah! I've already picked a day, too. I'll be leaving on the 26th of this very month. <gasps> oh, what do I do? Do I tell him not to leave? I just barely got used to visiting with all of our villagers. But if he does leave... Uh, it's been three years, Caesar. I understand. I understand that, that you may need to see New Horizons, and I would miss you so much. I don't even know if I have his amiibo files, aka his amiibo card, in order to summon him back. Ah, this is a hard one. I really do love Caesar. He and Blanche are kind of like my little buddies. Mm. Aurora, I love Aurora. Don't leave, Caesar! Don't leave! Oh, you're gonna try and stop me? Well, I suppose if you're the one telling me not to go. Alright, forget anything I said about moving and stuff. I'll stick around to enjoy life in Mastery a little while longer. Thank you, Caesar. I just, I, I don't know if I could part with him, friends. Look at him. He's literally the one in charge of taking care of all of this gardening. How could I say goodbye to such diligence? But yes, so I went around and I gathered up a ton of peaches, and that is why we now have so many bells. And I also went to the island! So I popped on down to Kappa's adorable island. I spent some time with him and his adorable turtled family, collecting many, many different bugs. So I had forgotten, but now I remember that we actually collect up a ton of the beetle species, like all of these guys. <gasps> I can't believe I've actually caught a centipede. Holy cow, that looks so creepy, weird, cool. Oh my gosh. But I caught a few of the horned uh, dynastids. Uh, I think I got some, not a golden stag. That would have been really cool. I got a rainbow stag though. And I caught a whole bunch of these cycloclematis stags with their little pinchers. And I managed to send them to retail, and we made so much money off of being entomologist, studying bugs, and of course, our delicious peach jam. So that's actually where all of this cash comes from. It didn't take that long either. Our village is really, really doing great at growing tons and tons of peaches for us. And with the autumn season coming, I kind of think it'd be really awesome to see a shift in the seasons and maybe replace many of these trees with our golden peach tree. Plus, then I could make enough money, maybe we could expand all the houses. See? Already, day three. Bedhead still acquired, and I am getting back to being a proper mayor. I definitely think I'm gonna keep the hair. It fits the mad scientist motif. But right, 
mushroom! Oh, I don't have any room for it though. No room at the end for the mushrooms. Oh, and I did get a few gifts. So these were like from my mom or that's a ranch chair. I could probably give that to someone. Let's see. And then that's a large, oh, that's the large bookshelf that we got from going to the campgrounds. Okay, I need to remember how I can give gifts to people. It's not like in pocket camp where I can just hold the item and hand it to them. I think I have to send it to them in like a little letter. We'll figure it out. All right, well, let's go see where Phineas went because I haven't seen him in forever. <gasps> Keaton, you've moved right on top of some of my flowers. That's okay though. Oh, Phineas. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen you, Woolworth's friend. Oh, good morning to you, youngster. Ah, the morning breeze in the forest is most agreeable today. By the way, is there something you need from me? Uh, may I have a badge? Because he gives out those cute little badges. I love achievement badges. Ah, oh, I feel like I have to, like, pluck a whole bunch of leaves and flowers out of my hair and kind of brush the moss off of my clothes so that I have room to take a badge from him. I love this. Let's see, what kind of badge best suits you? Ho oh, ho, I see, I see. Arg, 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 it seems as though you've become interested in ichthology. Oh, did I say entomology? Ah, okay, it's ichthology. I messed it up. Oh wait, no, 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 ichthology is fish and ent entomology is bugs. I did get it right. It's obvious just looking at your fish collection encyclopedia. I've got the perfect badge for you. New badge! If you keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge, okay? Phineas. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. We got the fish maniac badge. It's proof I've caught many different kinds of fish. Yay! Okay, that's actually probably going to be one of my little goals that I want to have. Uh, let's see, don't care about that. Where's my badges? Show me the badges. Here we go. Yay! Okay, so fish... Right over here, Fish Maniac. A badge for players with a fish encyclopedia of 50%. <gasps> I want to get these badges. I really want to get these badges. This would be so much fun. Why have I not managed to complete these badges? Okay, that's what we're going to work on. We're definitely going to work on trying to get all of the badges before New Horizons. I need to be able to prove that I am a very talented mayor after all. But all right, so let's see. Oh, Genji, good morning. Acorn, or Taku. Acorn's his new catchphrase. You've got a rosy glow about you. You must be working out. What you need? What's the latest, Genji? Thanks to our brilliant meter's ordinance, it's a lot easier and more pleasant to jog in this town. Weeds and garbage, the enemies of runners are gone. It's a big help, Otaku. Yay! I'm glad that he's enjoying the uh, beautiful town ordinance that we have. Let's see, do I have anything I can sell? Okay, let's take care of business first. We'll pop into retail. We will sell the ranch chair because I'm not really feeling it. They have been buying my fossils. Look at all of this. Oh, whoa, look at that Rocco chair. That's amazing. All right, I would like to sell. Yes, Reese, thank you, thank you. I think the ranch chair I would like to sell. Um, That cream sofa, I do have an extra mush dresser. As hard as it is for me to sell the rubies and the mush dressers, I'm going to go ahead and sell that cream sofa. Not the large bookshelf, and my mom actually sent me a green wall I want to check out. There we go. 5,000 bells? That's okay. One day I would like to give some of those to my village. Oh, hey, Caesar! Are you going to come in and buy one of my fossils? Do it, do it, do it! Some, sometimes I see stuff I just have to have, so I come here pretty often to look around. Come on, look around just right. I think I need more fossils. Well, at least they've got a good selection today. Can't complain. All right, do you see my fossils? Ah, that's okay. We have a lot of money. I think we might almost have enough money to actually pay off my loan. So let's go into town. We'll take care of those things. Oh, and if we're going into town, I should go get that fossil back. And we'll go check in on the museum, and I really need to greet the new villager. Oh, and I also need to grab that statue that we bought from Red. There's so much to do. I love it. My peaceful little village that's growing so well. Oh, wait, I didn't need to go inside to get the statue. Hopefully, when I pay off my house, we can have an even bigger house. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 I didn't need the Triforce. I do need to clean up, though. 
Oh my goodness gracious. This is just such... What is this? What was that? Oh! Wait, how did I pick this up? When did I get a leaf tea? That is so cool! I have no idea when I got it, but that's amazing! Like, did somebody just like hand that to me? I was completely oblivious, but it, it's like, I can't believe how perfect it is. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea where I got it though, so that's interesting. <gasps> did my turnips rot? Oh man, I was gonna sell those. Did they go bad? Oh, gross. Okay, we'll have to get rid of the spoiled turnips too. Fooey. And I need to get the statue that we bought from our cousin Red, as he calls us. And hopefully once we do all that, I can greet Keaton. Let's see. So it should be in my mail. All right. Campground. Campground. Jack. Red. Present. So this should be... Sure enough, the beautiful statue. We'll go ahead and take that and the fossils to Blathers today. Excellent. See, that's the kind of great work we should do. I still don't see Blanche and I don't see Keaton. But we'll visit with them after I work on paying off the load a little bit. All right, onwards into town. Oh, my perfect peaches! That's where we get all of our cold, hard cash, my friends. Plenty of bells. We're literally growing beautiful bells on the trees. Ah, <sighs> it feels really good to be able to come in and start working on paying off my loan. Especially because it's only been a few days since we've been back. All right, good morning, Phyllis. All right, how much can I pay? Repay loan. And... <gasps> okay, oh, so much more than I thought. <laughs> you can have all of my money. I'm about to become completely broke. Now we need 2,000. Can we do it? Can we finish paying off our house and proving that we are a good mayor? And also maybe getting the equity building initiative. <laughs> if I can just get 22,000 more bells. Well... Might as well stick all of the extra fossils we have up in- <gasps> Who's this? What? Wow, sweet pea soup. Sweet split pea soup. You're looking stylish today. Don't you ever look bad, Siri? Hi, Tabby. Do you live in my town? I better put in more time window shopping. I can't decide what to buy, me wow. Oh my gosh. Tabby, I don't think you live in my town. I didn't know that we could just have people who don't even live in my town show up. I'm like trying to find- my map? I think I can only see the map once we're out of here. Like, or what about- no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. That's so cool! Can I just have people visit here? I had forgotten that! Oh, let's go see Blathers. I know it's the morning, but oh, and we can check on our museum! I have been wanting to see what we built in the museum. It's been so long. Good morning, Blathers. Sorry to wake you. It's been a long time. He probably doesn't even recognize me. Uh, I would like to assess these fossils, please. All right. So we're going to assess all five of these and see what they turn into. Anything new? Oh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. <gasps> There's a new one! Oh, natural talent for fossils. I'm rather jealous. I hope I can perhaps convince you to assist with Mastery's cultural education. In the meantime, I shall, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating, though, hoot hoot. Oh, Blathers, of course I would. You and I, we're on the same team. All right, I would like to make a donation. All right, so wh what's the new one? An apto tail? Wow, and we already had like four of the other fossils. What's this? Could it be? You're donating the apto tail? I'm very glad to accept your donation. Oh, Blathers, the Aptosaurus is complete. We've complete, like, we just show up after three years, two to three years, walk on in, and then we start taking care. Oh, this is so fun. Thank you, Blathers, thank you. I will look at the Aptosaurus display. I'm totally done here now. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Let's go check on our dinosaur exhibit. Come on in. Oh, look at these guys. We have a completed T-Rex. Oh, I'm so proud. Look at how cool this room looks. We have a completed Velociraptor. We're still working on the Triceratops. All right, still working on this one. Wow, 
we really completed a lot of these. This is so cool. We had completed the museum pieces over here, the Parasaurus. I didn't know we had so many completed pieces. Clearly, I was a diligent, dedicated scientist in the past, donating everything I could get my hands on. Oh, look at you guys. There's the Itchy. This guy's is the, Ar the Arcarion. He kind of reminds me of Galapagos Tortoises. The Megaceratops. Then we've got Plesiosaur. And then what about this little guy? A saber-toothed tiger just in the back with all of these other beautiful ocean-going ones. And we've got one, two. So we've got two pieces that are kind of like displays. I have a really complete museum! Moss Tree Village definitely can boast several excellent resources for anyone, the Inklesaurus. Who might be a little curious, the Petrodon. Oh my gosh, I like have a ton of completed pieces. If you are curious, this is the Aptosaurus! You guys, we found it! This is the one we just completed. It's a long neck boy! I am so happy. There are so many completed dinosaurs. Oh, wow. Okay, let's come on over. The Aptosaurus. With its impossibly long neck and tail, many questions exist regarding the lifestyle of the Aptosaurus. Herbivorous dinosaurs tended to have larger digestive tracts than carnivorous dinosaurs. This distinction is what usually accounts for a thicker body, which the Aptosaurus had. You might also hear it called the Brontosaurus, though this name is scientifically redundant. Oh, I love it. Yes, we have really good displays everywhere. And now we need to see if, like, and this is just the dinosaur section. I'm only missing a few pieces. Wow, no wonder I'm able to sell all of our excess fossils for additional research, which no doubt the villagers help with. What else do we have? Do, okay, let's see if we can make a donation out of this statue. Alright, hang in there, Blathers. I have to see. Is this, is this, I would like to make a donation? Did I get completely scammed? <gasps> I don't think I got scammed! Unless I'm mistaken, this is a beautiful statue, indeed. What joy, it is! Well, well, we'll take very good care of this, you have my word. We'll display it later with a detailed description, so please come back to see it at any time. Thank you very much. Oh, Blathers! That's fantastic! All right, let's let him rest. We actually got the real statue from Red. Ha! <laughs> Science. We are completing our museum. Oh, that makes me happy. We have very few of Red's pieces. We're a little bit light on art. Unintentionally. I actually love touring art museums in real life. The Chicago Art Museum was one of the most- Oh, Kit Kat's here! Hey, ya! Uh, I mean, sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. Psst. What you need? What are you doing here, Kit Kat? Hmm, that whitish one is a nice piece of art, piece of art isn't it? What? You're saying it's just a wall? Wow, I really don't get this art stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kit Kat, you might be more of a modern art fan. Here we go! Beautiful statue. Oh, the Venus. Oh, a statue of the goddess of love found on the island of Milos. Many wondered how she how she was originally posed. This is so cool. Does it give a time period? Made around one, 130 BC. So that would be 130 uh, before common era, era now. So BCE. Wow. Made out of marble. Can you imagine that? That would be over 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago! Ah, oh, see, Kit Kat, this is why the art's so cool. Yo, Bella S, I'm having deja vu, didn't we just talk? If you're too noisy, the gallery ref will give you a red card. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you imagine having all of the boisterous villagers come in if you're blathers trying to like run this neat and tidy? All right, well, as much as I would love to tour the rest of our museum, I'm very excited that we completed more fossils, and I would love to see more of it, but we do have a new villager to meet, and I haven't said hello in so long to my beloved Blanche, my best friend. I don't know why we're best friends, it's just been that way for so long now, and I have absolutely no money, so I probably need to grab some more of those perfect peaches as we run by. But let's run on down. 
Oh, and I do have something for Blanche, actually. We have a pouch that actually Aurora gave me that Blanche apparently left at Aurora's house. So we do need to turn that into her. Oh, this is so sweet. And I want to say hello to Keaton and see what the inside of Keaton's house actually looks like. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop that. Have to be careful. I want these golden peaches, but I don't have very much room for them. All right, we'll grab this, grab this. I wish I could collect that mushroom, but I'm a little low on room. All right, there we go. And now we can display all of these fossils too, which is really positive. Well, I say display. I mean, put them up at the retail shop before much, much, much in bells. There we go. All right, so next step, find Keaton, find Blanche. Also, I do want to start thinking about the proper- Oh, hey, Mary, how you doing this morning? The proper layout of our town. And possibly even getting- Oh, why don't you come over to my place right now? We can talk about all sorts of stuff, like how much we love coconut cake and whatever. How about it? Right now? Okay, Mary. Okay. We're going to Mary's house. It's literally right here. So, why not? That's so cute, though. Can you imagine just, like, popping over to someone's home to talk about coconut cake for a minute? Come in, come in! Oh, she's got- oh, she's got a little bug! Oh, I wonder what kind it is! I think it's a walking stick. Did she get that walking stick from me? Oh, she's got her washing machine! Mary, I think you have that washing machine in Pocket Camp, too. I'm glad you're having fun! I want this plant. Can I have the plant? I can't practice dancing without any music, right? That's why I listen to DJ KK. Hey, watch the floor there. It's a little sticky. I dropped some banana bread the other day. That's so cute. Can you imagine her just making all of this this coconut cake and banana bread? Mary, you're quite the, the baker. I hope you like my place. It's even better when you're in it. I bet you feel kind of nervous coming over to a pop star's place, but you should make yourself at home. <gasps> what do you think of my room? Pretty cool? Anything you're interested in? Yeah, actually. All right, all right. I'm kind of really into this plant. Okay. No thanks. I don't have any money. <laughs> oh, I forgot I don't have any money. Thanks for letting me visit, Mary. Your great is great. Your room is great, I mean. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that was fun to pop in and visit with Mary. I just love the idea of coconut cake and banana bread. Ah, <sighs> and I definitely need some more bells. All right, so Mary visited. Into retail we go. And I really need to find Blanche. I still can't believe I haven't found her. How do you do, Reese? Very happy to see you. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I've been hanging out with the Nooklings too much. I would like to sell some things. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. I want to sell all of- Oh, wait, 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 whoa. I want to put them on the flea market. I almost messed up. Okay, gotta be really careful. Flea market. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I heard somebody come in. Just in time, just in time. It's Punchy. All right, let's convince him to buy the raptor torso. <laughs> yes, I would like to sell it for 9,099, there we go. Okay, hopefully they'll be interested in this. What do you think about this one, Punchy? I'm thinking of picking up the Swing Inkleo torso here. Yes, you should buy it! This is this is why we're rich off of fossils and peaches. That is just 100% the way I would want to run my little town. All right, all right, did we do it? And? Sweet! <laughs> all right, so he's really excited. And then I'll go ahead and put up the rest of these fossils later. But we will go ahead and sell the golden... There we go. And we bought... Hey, Punchy, come back. You bought the Inkleo torso. You could come and buy the Inkleo tail. There we go. Oh, look at that tail. That's really cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell to her our golden peaches. And now you all have witnessed firsthand how we manage things here in Mossley Village. Alright, 5,000 bells sounds perfect. Nice. 
a little of this, a little of that, but mostly through our research of the ecology of this place do we gain most of our funds to be able to help the villagers. So now I really want to go find my friend Blanche and say hello to Keaton. And maybe we'll collect up a couple more peaches while we're out and about too, just in case anybody wants a gift. In fact, do I have anything? I don't really have anything as gifts, but if somebody wanted my fossils right now, I'd be in the mood to share. All right, Blanche? That's it, we are finding her. I am not going to have yet another day go by without my friend Blanche. I just need to be careful not to run over my flowers. Is Keaton home? I think Keaton's home. Let's say hello to him or her. I have no idea. Oh, still unpacking and look at this tropical themed room. I was waiting for you, Siri. Do you remember when I was on my camping trip, you asked me if I wanted to live here. I took your advice and decided to move to a moss tree, Wingo. So I'm officially a resident of your town starting today and I'm really excited about it, Siri. Oh, it's so fun. Sorry, camp party now. Maybe tomorrow after I finish with all these boxes. Yay, welcome Keaton. Oh man, this will be fun. I think maybe Keaton's a sporty type, but we'll find out. It was just really cool. Keaton was like chilling and eating peaches with me at the campsite. How could I resist? All right, speaking of the campsite, maybe Blanche is over there. All right, go, go, go. And I do need to clear away a lot of the flowers. We're a little bit at excess on flowers, in my opinion. All right, is she over here? Is she down here? No, there's a bunch of bugs. What was that? I think I saw something down on the beach. Ooh, that's right, I decorate with the gemstones down the beach. All right, let's see, is she by Aurora's house? I am not leaving without saying hello to Blanche. This is very important to me. Blanche! Blanche, we haven't met in so long. Oh, hey, Red's back. <gasps> Blanche, is that you? Oh, Genji, you got me so excited. Where is she? I haven't seen her in so long. Is she literally like hiding in the back corner somewhere? No. Hmm. Maybe I should get the megaphone. Maybe that would summon her up. And I do want to actually start clearing away all of the flowers that we have. Not all, all, all of them. Is she in the... Is she getting a drink at the cafe? Because that would be so cute. Looking for my friend everywhere? No, she's not in here either. Not in the Riverside Roost. Hmm. Well, the air smells like autumn. We see mushrooms blossoming everywhere. We are definitely benefiting from the plethora of wonderful fossils that we have here. And I am still missing my friend Blanche. I have no idea where she is. I have no idea when I will find her again. But one day we will make it happen. She's not gonna be moving away just yet because somebody else was trying that out. There's Genji. Ah. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and we will head back home. But like I said, I'm, I have so many dreams about being able to tidy up our village. I think I need to get my love of the plants definitely tamed so that we have a little bit more room to actually walk around here. We can start collecting up some of the mushrooms that have cropped up, which would be very exciting. And we will teach our villagers about the wonderful glories of taking care of our many, many fossils. There we go. Because they are definitely helping to make the village wealthy. And I'm going to have to talk to Isabel. I've been a little nervous about showing my face to Isabel after so many years. But one of these days, I'm going to need to reintroduce myself and see what my duties really are as mayor of Moss Tree. So, all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like in hopes that we will find my wonderful friend Blanche. I'm beginning to really despair that I will ever see her again, even though she definitely still lives here. Oh, yay! Get ourselves a nice, beautiful amethyst. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!